So today I was thinking about uh, working on a set of videos and um, talking about Microsoft Access and just trying to figure out exactly what I'd like to talk about. So what I've decided to do for now is something extemporaneous. Um, it's going to be based on a subject that uh, I personally have some interest in. Uh, so it'll help me understand the problem that I'm trying to solve uh, while I go through building this Microsoft Access database. Uh, just to give you a little background, I do have some knowledge of Microsoft Access, but I want to try to explain this in a way to where anybody who has uh, a little bit of understanding about Access should be able to follow along. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is um, I need to start with a database. And when you open up Microsoft Access, you get this long list of templates. And uh, there's nothing wrong with any of these templates. But the thing I'd like to say about some of these templates is this. Um, there's no database that's ever going to solve your specific problem. And the reason I say that is because every time you start off with one of these templates, you're going to find that there's a lot of stuff that they're doing that has nothing to do with what you want to accomplish. And then on the flip side, you're going to find out that there's stuff in there that doesn't cooperate with the way that you do want to uh, keep track of something. Uh, so I don't normally start with any of these templates. Now, I have opened some of them to see what people were doing. And I've got a lot of great ideas from some of these templates. Uh, so I, by all means, explore them. And if one of them happens to fit your needs, I say all the better. No sense in recreating the wheel. 